What is going on everybody? Mark here with Blue Cloud Solutions and I wanted to take a quick second and talk to you about smart links or universal links. And I'll explain this very briefly, but typically what happens when we're sharing our apps in social media or on Instagram, we provide people with at least two links. We'll provide them with uh, a link to the App Store in case they have an Apple device and we'll provide them with a link to the Google Play Store. Now these are called dumb links and you'll see people just paste these straight into their accounts and there's no tracking, it just has one purpose, which is to take the user to the App Store. But uh, there's other ways that we can do this, and I'll show you why this is a problem, is because there are platforms like Facebook, and we're only given one option to provide a link. So we can only provide somebody with one location, uh, that being the App Store, or the Google Play Store, or maybe just the app landing page. But what we do have are a thing called smart links. And what smart links do is they'll take any device, whether it's an iPhone or a tablet or a, or a Google device, or sorry, an Android device or a desktop, and they will point all of these devices into the right location. So if you're using an Android device, they'll point you to the Google Play Store, Apple device, to the App Store, and so on. So what's really cool is that uh, we can go a step further as well. So for example, I'm on the uh, on my desktop right now, and I've integrated a smart link right here in my Facebook page. So when somebody clicks this using a desktop, they get routed to my app's landing page with a whole bunch of information about my app. Um, if you were using an Apple device and you click this, this smart link, you'd be taken to the App Store, uh, an Android device taken to the Google Play Store, and so forth. So there's really a lot of benefit that you can do from these links with not only maximizing your app's exposure, but we can also track things like where people are coming from. We can do campaigns, we can use these in emails, and it just really cuts down on confusing the user, right? Like if somebody's going to uh, download your app and they have an Android device and send them to the App Store, you're gonna lose that lead, they're gonna have somebody who's really frustrated and uh, isn't gonna take the time to go into the Google Play Store to search for your app. So using these smart links is really gonna help out with your app's exposure, with your conversion rates, with the sessions. You can actually send people who already have the app into uh, the app itself. So increasing your sessions, you can increase your in-app purchases, everything you could possibly imagine using this quick and simple tool. And the way you can create smart links is using, there's lots of tools that do this. I use Apps Flyer, a function called OneLink. I'm not affiliated to this at all. It's just really easy. It's free. It takes about three steps. Um, you don't need any coding to do it. And uh, yeah, it works great. So again, don't lose on your traffic. If you have a Facebook app page or if you're running an email campaign or anything, make sure you're using smart links to send your users to the right place. Happy linking and have a great day.